How do I retain builds forever in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.2. Also on this controller, I've already set up a job. Now this job is pretty straightforward. It's named Retain Forever. If we take a look at the configuration of the job, it's just a sample hello world job. I've gone ahead and ran the job once. Now if we take a look at the output from one, what we see here is we see a keep this build forever. This is one of the simple ways to go ahead and mark a build as kept forever. So if I go ahead and click on keep this build forever, watch the left nav and notice that the delete build number one disappears. We also see that the button changes its name from keep this build forever to don't keep this build forever. So if I decided, you know what? I really didn't want to keep this build. I want to go ahead and get rid of it. Then I can go ahead and click on this button and the delete build number one comes back in the left nav. Now let me go ahead and click on keep this build forever one more time. And let's go back over to retain forever. You'll notice down in the build history, there is a lock beside the number one build. And if we hover over it, we see keep this build forever. This record is explicitly marked to be kept. If we go ahead and go back into build number one again, click on the button here and go back over to our build history, we can see that the lock is gone. Now clicking buttons is all well and good, but what if I wanted to be able to do this from within my job? Well, let's go ahead and go into configure for the job. I'm gonna create a new stage. And this new stage is going to be named keep. We'll create the steps block. And then finally, the line that we're gonna be using needs to be inside of a script block. So I'll go ahead and type script. And the command that we need to put inside of the script block is current build dot keep log equals true. So let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. When we take a look at the output of build number two, we can see that that successfully finished. But if we take a look at the history for build number two, we do see the lock. If we go ahead and click into that build, we'll see again, the delete build is not on the left nav and we see the button says, don't keep this build forever. If I decided, you know what? This one can go ahead and be deleted at some point in the future. I can go ahead and click on this button. I see my delete build number two show back up. And again, the lock is removed from build number two. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.